in this video i'm going to show you how to install all the tools we are going to need to create the website in the last video we created or we set up the web server so the first thing you need to know to do is to open the ZAMP control panel and you make sure that the Apache, the web server and MySQL are running then you head to joomla.org we want to download the Joomla so you go ahead and say download then you click download Joomla the latest version so it will download and go to your downloads I had already downloaded mine so you copy this a zipped folder to the folder we created in ZAMP HTT docs so you copy it here so this is the folder we created you paste it here and then you extract extract the components there you are now you are ready to go so if you open your browser then you type the address remember we created this uh, address ergits.net you type the that one you see to bring the Joomla installation file because now they can be able to see the the document which we have extracted the document which you have extracted but before that you need to set up the database that can be used by this website so you go ahead and type uh, localhost uh, php my admin there you have the database so what you need to do is to create the database And in our case, uh, we call it Rigids. Oh, let's call it Gids DBS. Then uh, create. So this is PHP my admin, which have uh, the MySQL. You can even uh, create privileges. And create the users and create a new user that you can use and assign that user to your database but in our case we are going to use the root user the default user root user be granted all the privileges for the local host yeah so we are going to use this user so you go ahead to the installation file you select your language then you give the website name let's call it ergits and then you continue the setup enter the real name of your super user so we said it is the root ah uh, no 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 this is the user who, who is going to use the 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 website 
So here is the user we are going to use to use the website. So enter your name there, the real name, then set up the username, the username you are going to use. So set up your name. So my name say it is admin and then the password password you are going to use enter your password so enter these three characters Then you enter your email address, then you go to the database connection. So make sure that the password is acceptable. For my case, I've entered this one. That one remains the same, my SQLI, localhost, we are using localhost. And then the username is root, we are using root. No password, remember there was no password. Then the database, I remember our database is called git dbase. Git dbase, and a table prefix or use randomly generated one. So for this case, because we are creating a git database, let's call it eg, so that the, table, the tables in the database, we have a prefix eg, Connection type, just call default server controlled, and then you say install Joomla. So we wait as the setup is being done. Um, there you are, location. The, um, the Joomla has been installed and we can actually open the site. There you are. It has a default template. There you are. It has a different template. 
and if you want to access the backend you just write admin administrator so this is the front end then if you want to access the backend just type the administrator remember this is a content management system uh, we have our password then we have our username there you are nice this is the bucket nice we have installed the Joomla this is the bucket where you can uh, enter various components in the next video I'll take you through uh, basic uh, knowledge knowledge about uh, each and every uh, components here so here if you want to access the website this is the front head and this is the website it does not have anything so if you want now to create this website you need to come now to the back end here where you can control everything if you want to add articles if you want to add content if you want to add menus it's on this side and this is the front end and this is the back end now let go ahead and install the other tools that is the framework the helix ultimate framework and uh, the sp page builder next we are going to install now the framework that will act as a templating engine so that you can be able to create our website so to do that you go to this website joomshaper.com it's a Joomla company uh, it's the world grow your business with the world number one tools for Joomla they create Joomla templates and the plugins and the modules and if you check the product they have SP page builder which we are going to use and also they have now the framework the best Joomla template framework so you go to the Helix framework And this is the framework and you go ahead you say download for free but you make sure that you register make sure that you register to enable you to download so you can download for free so the current version is 2.0.7 so you hit download And it will give you uh, uh, these options. We have the template, then you have a quick pack Joomla 3, then a quick quick start pack Joomla 4, and then a plug. In this case, we are going just to download the template, the Helix Ultimate Framework template. Eh? But um, if you go ahead and download for Joomla 3, and now we are Joomla 4, a quick start pack. This one will come up, will come with Joomla already installed. When you install this one, it will already have the Joomla and it will already have um, a demo website. Remember, in the introduction video, I showed you the home variation for Helix Ultimate Frameworks. It has different variations in the website. So this will come with all that. But in our case, we are going to use this so that we can design from a scratch from the start, step by step, how to design the website. So go ahead and download this one, which I have already done, which I've already done in my case, but it has already done. Once you're done, so this uh, quick packs. Joomla 3 and quick start pack Joomla 4 will, will come with when you store them they will have the they will have the Joomla already you don't need to install the Joomla plus you have this website you eh? come up with this website already so it will give you a head start so that you can start designing your website it will come with this website already 
that's why it is a quick start pack it will come already with this website already installed plus other components but in our case we want to start from uh, step by step from a scratch we have a complete free framework uh, without any website so that I can show you how step by step so once you have downloaded the framework you go back to the Joomla da dashboard backhead so as I've told you I'm going to show you how to, to explain a different part of the new webs of the new Joomla 4 or components and part but you head to system just go to system and then uh, go to install extensions install extension and then now you can bra browse your 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 component you can browse your component or you can just drag and drop browse or conduct so helix framework just drag there and it to install and there you are it has installation of the plugin was successful it has already installed and now the next step you need to do is to make sure that you make now that template as a default template engine remember we have a different template engine you can see a template template engine you have to make now the helix ultimate as the default template engine so again head the, to system and then you go to site template styles templates site template style there you go this is the default one that's why we are seeing it here but we want to make now this as default shape helix ultimate as the default so you click this one to make it default there you go default style set there you go that's that now when you refresh now it will have a different design as you can see now here designed by Joom Shaper this is the company that developed the 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 framework so you can see here so it's nice now we can be able to start uh, creating the website so ne the next tool we are going to use to use or to install is the SP page builder so again head to the Joom Shaper website then go to the product and then you go to S page builder so this is a drag and drop uh, page builder it help you to decide anything in a website add some component add some part in a website so it's a very nice um, uh, uh, page builder for Joomla website and uh, you can see here you have a pro version of a pro version that has so many component but uh, we are going to use the free so these are the components of the part of the headset that you can add so there are so many but we are going to go and do the free component so go ahead and uh, download the free version go ahead and download the free version page builder we have the current version that is 3.8.5 just download the driver the component there you go once you download the component, then you head to the dashboard, you go to the system, this is how we install the extensions. If you want to extend, download and extend extensions for Joomla, that's how you install them. But in the next video, I'll show you or I'll take you through different part of the Joomla here. So we we'll go again, extension. There you are. Again, you can browse the file where you have installed the file, or you just uh, drag and drop. 
just drag and drop the component so this is the component of the plugin and you wait for it to install There you go, installation of the component was successful, that is good. So we have installed the component, so you can see here the S page builder. So we are going to create the pages using these uh, components or these two for our website. So we have installed the Joomla, we have installed the Joomla and you can see we have a working um, uh, base or start basic for our website and then we have installed the framework we are going to use for the purpose of uh, website development then we have installed the s page builder which we are going to use to create the pages and design for our website thank you so much and i will see you in the next video in the next video i will take you through Basic, some basic about uh, Joomla, especially for those who are starting to design using this Joomla, some of the parts, different parts of the Joomla. And then in the next video, we start now designing our website. Make sure that you like this video and also subscribe. And if you are new here, subscribe to my channel and then hit that notification bell so that you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you, and I will see you in the next one.